Al Sharpton is probably the most powerful Negro in America. Mm-hmm. Why? He had that television show on White Station five days a week, mm-hmm. Black Station five days a week. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Anytime something happened in New York, Blacks and whites, they came and got Al. And then the Pope came to New York six months ago. The most powerful human being on the planet. Bullshit, but he is. Mm-hmm. Hmm? It made Al leave town. The Pope, the only black place he went to when he was here was the black school in Harlem. Al wasn't there, and that didn't bother him, and that didn't bother his supporters. Hmm? Are you crazy? One of the things a lot of people were commenting on and after watching your videos, they want to know what your thoughts are, the difference between white supremacy and white privilege. White supremacy? People that got white supremacy get killed by white supremacy. People got white privilege still have to go to the military. The big folks don't go. White supreme. They just break the word down. I'm white and I'm supreme. It didn't say supreme to niggas. I'm supreme to anybody who ain't my blood. Mm-hmm. It's simple. It's a good question you ask. Mm-hmm. And thank God you shut up long enough to hear an answer. Because the answer is in the name. Huh? Mm-hmm. It says to my children, that's one of the richest men in the world. They don't have to ask why. It's in what I told them. Huh? In what I told them. Queen Elizabeth, see, white ain't a color. Most of y'all ain't never met a white person. White person ain't never met a white person. White's not a color, it's an attitude. And if you ain't got trillions of dollars in the bank, you can't have the attitude. Queen Elizabeth make $360 million every 24 hours, just interest on her money. Every 24 hours. Hmm? Plus, you don't even understand money. You take a million dollars, every nigga I see won't be a millionaire. Take a million dollars hmm? and change it into seconds. A million seconds is 13 day- days. Take a billion dollars and change it into seconds is 32 years. Who want to be a millionaire but a fool? Hmm? But if you don't know that, if you don't know that, hmm, then that's the games they play. And yet, Queen Elizabeth cannot go in London without getting permission from the Lord Mayor. Hmm? Did you hear me? Because, see, London's not part of Britain. Like Rome's, the Vatican's not part of Rome. So if they give her the permission, the Lord Mayor, then she got to go dress up like a servant and come through the back gate, the temple gate. And they do that devil ritual with the purple and all the stuff on. Queen Elizabeth. Okay. These are the games they play. But then you listen to something else that you're born with. You ever heard of Marie Antoinette? Of course. Yeah, I didn't say of course. I'm sorry. I said it because I heard of her. Everybody heard. You know what the bitch look like? Huh? Yes, I do. Okay. And what brought her down? The let me cake. Okay. Now, think about that. Because I did when I, I ain't never met a nigga that didn't like cake. What did that bitch do? There's a universal thing she interfered with. That's simple. There are no guns. Huh? No bullets. She said, let them eat cake. I ain't never met somebody that didn't like cake. But you better not tell me. That's what it's about. And then the rest of the country said, okay, let's have welfare. Let's give free food away. Hmm? Never let this happen to us. They bumped into something they couldn't deal with. Huh? That's simple. I ain't never knew what that bitch looked like. Still don't know what she looked like. Not interested in knowing what she looked like. Huh? But I know about that. I know about that. 
And so the whole, the, the, the whole game is something that's bigger than us. Huh? You get on a show and do a show and try to tell, especially poor folk, that reading is a violation of the universe. Hmm? If you get on a plane today and go to Tokyo, can you read a Japanese paper? Do you think the universe made something that changed when you cross a border? Because when this plan was, there were no borders. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You hear me? Yes. There were no borders. This is bullshit so I can control you. Hmm? I got 10 children. If you interviewed my children and they told you, we're so scared of our daddy. Why? Well, he taught us to fear him. You know I'm crazy, right? Then when they tell you to fear God, you don't think God's crazy or are they lying? Huh? Fear is a negative. But if you do the research and find out what fear do to your body, huh? Fear God. Is that a bitch? And we believe it. Hmm? Uh, forgive, 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 forgive. But God tell me, the universe, if I mess up, it's going to put me in a pot and cook me. I don't want to be with that God. That tell me I ain't supposed to do it, but you can. Hmm? I didn't know that the Romans invented crosses a thousand years before Christ was born. I thought they invented it for Jesus. Huh? So a thousand years. Why? Because that's where they killed revolutionists. Hmm? So if you're walking down the street with your mother, wasn't no radio, TV, and you saw a man hanging on the cross, they didn't do women because they, all their vagina, everything would come out from being hung. So you say, Mommy, what's that? Thing? Oh, he, he made the state mad. Hmm? It's for revolutionists. Then why was those two thieves on the cross, nigga? Were they revolutionists? See how easy it is? Hmm? When you get a bit of information? And then the one said, if you who you say you are, boy, better thank God I'd have killed him right there on the cross. You don't talk to me like that, you thug. And then the other one said, with niggas and pofa, Father, when you get to where you, will you no, nigga, you ain't even repented. Hmm? You ain't even asked for forgiveness. Huh? See how it works? All right. Yeah. So I, I remember you saying, you know, that we're, we're all part of the filth because we pay taxes. We pay taxes. Not all of us. Most of us who think we. There are people. Do you know how many slaves jumped off the, before I be a slave, I'd be buried in my grave? The niggas be saying that they ain't gonna die. They're just singing a song. But there are people. Hmm? There are people. Oh, my mother and them taught me that Baptist bullshit. Huh? That the one thing you can't be forgiven for is suicide. That's what my folks taught me. You mean if I don't come by your house and kill your family, I can be forgiven? But if I shoot myself so I won't do it, I won't be forgiving y'all by into that bullshit. Hmm? And so once you stop it, stop it, then you get to the order. To the, to the order. And then people come and tell you things. We got children that let me look at. I let my children look at George Washington them was a bunch of slave owners, huh? They don't look like slave owners. Spit and polish. Hmm? Once you own me, you rape a chicken, man. But I didn't see that. My mom and them didn't know. They thought they was heroes. They were slave owners. It brings up one of the topics, you, you know, um, I guess Harry Tubman's going to be on the $20 bill now. Mm -hmm. Do you have any thoughts about Yeah, that? big thoughts. You didn't say it right. She's going to be on the front. The front of the 20, yes. Yeah. See, if I'm looking for you for information, 
that slave owner is going to be on the back. Hmm? The most important thing about that is a black woman, felon, fugitive from justice, replaced the slave owner with a slave. Whew. Tell my grandchildren that. Hmm? Replace the slave owner with a slave. Hmm? They had reward for her and her two sons. Well, in the back of a $20 bill now. She got the money to pay it. <laughs> yeah, take my money. How much, how much I owe you? Put, a, put everything in. Figure up how much, how much interest from back then. You talking to mama now. <clears throat> That's universal law. Huh? That's you. Nobody said, but, but, but she's a fugitive. Her, her sons were fugitives. There was a reward. Then you know there's somebody here other than you. And didn't change her outfit. Niggas would have been there. They tried to make her look like a... Uh, 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 society uh, going to outdress Queen Elizabeth. Say no, put her right there. Right there. Let us see. And see, that's what's wrong with the word nigger. The N-word, white folk can't see what it was. Hmm? And one of the sad things about the N-word, it wasn't one black person sitting in the room when the white folks made that decision, that it's going to be the N-word. Hmm? Hmm? Can you believe that? And then at the president's dinner, Saturday, did you see it? Mm. Larry Walmart, yeah. When Larry said, you my nigga, mm -hmm. did you see the president pump his chest? Mm -hmm. And then Al Sharpton came out and still attacked Larry. I thought the president was your friend, nigga. Huh? If he pump his chest and he the most powerful man in the world, what's wrong with you? You you sanction everything else he do. Huh? What is this about, man? Them white folks in the room was shocked but the president. Hmm? And so when you stop and think about it, and I heard something that night listening to what they were saying. Larry Wilmer, one of them thuggish news people, reviewers, said he wasn't talking to us, he wasn't talking to nobody in this room. He's talking to his people. That's what you do with this. Huh? You go to bed sad because you can't get it on NBC, something wrong with you. The era of slavery has been shown more, that era has been shown more than any other era. Why? And the reason why is because through film, filmmakers have a way of rewriting history. And if it didn't go the way they wanted, wanted it to go, by presenting it in a whitewashed way, they can show the South didn't lose. I wasn't eating chitlins when I was in Africa. I wasn't eating watermelon when I was in Africa. Huh? I wasn't wearing zoot suits when I was in Africa. I wasn't getting my hair cut when I was in Africa. This bitch is my mama and yours too.